How will we be able to produce, in an environmentally friendly manner, the food and renewable raw materials needed to provide for 9 billion people by 2050? While crop areas are shrinking and the climate is changing, highly efficient and resistant crop plants may be part of the answer. To identify favourable crop varieties, scientists study not only the genetic constitution of plants, but also agronomically relevant traits and how these express under various environmental conditions. The entirety of expressed traits is referred to as the phenotype of a plant. Assessing these traits is called phenotyping. The focus is on traits such as biomass formation, architecture, weight, nutrient status and pathogen resistance. The success of our research into the utilization of plant genetic resources and their biological diversity critically depends on four factors. First, we need to be able to analyze in an accurate and reproducible manner thousands of plants for trait expression. Second, we need to be able to analyze trait expression on a level which is not visible by the naked eye. Third, we need to understand the dynamics of trait expression during plant development. And finally, we need to meet the challenges of global change. And that implies that we need to be able to investigate trait expression under the conditions of a changing environment. The Leibniz Institute of Plant Genetics and Crop Plant Research, IPK for short, at Gattesleben plays a leading role in this process. It is home to one of the largest gene banks in the world, supporting the conservation, exploration and exploitation of crop plant diversity. For more than 10 years and in collaboration with partner institutions, the IPK has set up high-throughput plant phenotyping facilities. These employ imaging-based methods that enable the precise, automated, non-invasive acquisition of plant traits, the entire life cycle of numerous plants in parallel. These experimental platforms are complemented by the necessary bioinformatics competence and infrastructures needed to store, evaluate and link phenotypic information with genetic data. IPK's cutting-edge plant phenotyping infrastructure is of global importance. It is used for fundamental research projects to answer questions relevant for plant breeding and for continued development of methods and technology in the frame of national, European and international networks this infrastructure is also accessible to other users from academia and industry.